Imagine one night you're working outside your house when suddenly fortune literally drops from the sky in the shape of a meteorite billions of years old. This was the exact situation for a man in Indonesia this year. Today, we're going to look at this amazing story. We'll also see how much he actually sold it for. It's the same price as 19 months of his country's median monthly wage. We'll also examine the estimated millions he could have collected from the rock and the potential heartache once he found this information. So, let's get started. During one evening in August 2020, Joshua Hatagalong was working at his home on building a coffin for his business in North Sumatra, Indonesia. All of a sudden, a large bang echoed from within his house. He went inside to find a large rock had crashed through the roof of his living room, leaving a large hole in his roof. To start with, he was too afraid to approach the mysterious rock. The impact of the uninvited item had caused it to be embedded 15 centimeters, nearly six inches, into the floor. After a brief pause, Hatagalong decided to pick it up. He stated, quote, I lifted it up and it was warm. That's when I thought it must be a meteorite falling from the sky because it was impossible for someone to throw a rock of that size onto the roof. Now excited from the possible space discovery, Hatagalong began taking photos of the rock and uploaded them to social media. The images quickly spread through the internet. Only two days later, a local resident got in touch with Hatagalong. They wanted to purchase the meteorite, so they offered 1 billion Indonesia rupiah, that's around $71,000. However, the hefty amount of money offered made Hatagalong suspicious. He believed this was a joke, so he rejected the sale. With the images spreading across the internet, the world's media began to take notice. News videos and articles were written about the discovery. Eventually, the rock drew the attention of meteorite expert Jared Collins from the US. Two weeks after Hatakalung rejected the first offer, Collins flew from his residence in Bali and arrived to meet with the 34-year-old Indonesian man. To start with, Collins offered Hatagalung 200 million Indonesia rupiah, which is around $14,207 for the meteorite. Yet Hatagalung rejected it. Desperate for the sale, Collins remembered the damage to Hatagalung's house. As a result, he threw in a further 14 million Indonesia rupiah, or $995, to repair the massive hole in the roof. This took the overall bid to 214 million Indonesia rupiah, or $15,202. For comparison, the median monthly wage in Indonesia is around 11,400,000 Indonesian rupiah. That's around $810. The median monthly wage in the U.S. was $3,714, making the money for Hataglung worth nearly 19 months in wages in his country. After contemplating the deal for a bit, Hatagalong eventually agreed to the terms. However, he didn't sell the full amount of his 2.2 kilogram or nearly 5 pound rock. He held on to 0.4 kilos, or 1.4 ounces, as mementos for himself and his family. With his newfound wealth, Hatagalong didn't keep it all for himself. He repaired his roof, of course, but also spent some cash on repairing his parents' graves. On top of this, he wanted to help his family and nearby orphans with his finances. He even helped to pay for a few churches to be built in the village. He's since spent all of his meteorite money. The meteorite then underwent inspections. The Lunar and Planetary Institute in Texas were one of the first to examine it. They gave the meteorite the name Kolang after the district the meteorite landed in. By their estimates, the total weight of Kolang before it broke off into pieces was around 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds. The meteorite is also believed to be 4.5 billion years old, nearly as old as the Earth. Kolang was also classified as the extremely rare CM1-2 carbonaceous chondrite. Hatagalung wasn't the only one to discover Kolang on that fateful day. In the surrounding area, three other fragments were found. One was found in a paddy field only 3 kilometers or 1.8 miles from Hatagalung's home. Since the incident, the village has had a steep rise in visitors who hope to find fragments for themselves, as well as general interests in the Kolang meteorite. Some of the smaller pieces have found their way onto eBay. 0.3 grams or 0.01 ounces of the rock at a price of around $285. Another fragment of 0.5 grams or nearly 0.02 ounces had a price of $455, while a fragment of 33.68 grams or 1.19 ounces would cost $21,120. With those figures in mind, many people have got their calculators out and realized that Hatakalung could have received a far bigger amount of money than what he got, leading to a startling price of $1.85 million dollars. On finding out the news, Hatagalong stated, quote, if that's true, I've been lied to and I'm disappointed. 
However, this million-dollar price tag is disputed. Experts in the field of meteorology have stated that when it comes to these space boulders, the more weight doesn't actually mean it'll cost more money. In fact, they stated the opposite is usually true. When Collins purchased Colang, he wasn't doing it for himself. According to reports, it was shipped to America to arrive at the door of an avid meteorite collector, Jay Piatek. Final fact finish, the largest intact meteorite is based in Namibia, Africa, known as Hoba Meteorite. It's believed it fell to Earth around 80,000 years ago. Since then, it hasn't been moved, which could have something to do with its estimated 60-ton weight. That's the same weight as 10 African bush elephants. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.